Hey, what's up? It's Josh Rossi. Welcome to another Photoshop Dad tutorial. Now in this tutorial, we're going to be covering a really cool color grading trick to make your images pop even more. Now this is a, a technique that is used by commercial photographers. This is something that I've used in all my work with like DC Comics, Adobe, Nickelodeon, list goes on and on. This is something that has absolutely saved me. And when I say saved me, I mean sometimes you're putting, you're, you're coloring images and you're just adding colors on top of the image. And you add another color and you're like, why isn't this working? It just doesn't look good. And then at the end, you're just meshing everything together and the image just has one color tone and it just doesn't have the feel that you want. So this technique right here is gonna fix that. It's gonna allow you to have image separation, color separation. So let me show you how to do this. Let's go ahead and get to it. Now once again, if you want to follow along, just click below, I've included the follow along files. So this image is about 95% done. I've done all the dodging and burning. I've done a lot of the coloring, but it still has one sort of tone to it and I'm wanting to separate the colors out a little bit so this is how I'd fix it basically you go above your image and you're gonna create a blank layer and this is gonna be called I'm just gonna call this blue jacket and the idea here is that you are going to be painting in individual colors you're gonna be selecting out colors I know this sounds like it's gonna take a lot of time which it doesn't I'll show you how quick it is but this is one of those things that really separates the beginner from the more advanced photographer. So I'm gonna go to an overlay blending mode and I'm actually gonna uh, go to my brush and I'm gonna paint at 100% opacity. Make sure it's 100% on both opacity and flow. Then I'm gonna pick a color similar here. So I'm just gonna click right there and maybe bring it down a little bit, something like that. Okay, now I'm just gonna paint. And I know this looks weird at first. It's gonna look really bright and not good at first because you're painting at 100% opacity, but we're going to turn this down in just a second. So the reason why the color's not going outside of the lines is because this is a clipping mask. So if it's not a clipping mask, you got to be more precise. I'm just going to do this for the sake of time. I'm just going to go really quick, just like this. All right. So let's say I was all precise on that. Okay, so obviously it looks like crap right now. But just bring the opacity of the actual layer down, just like this. Okay. So, so see how that's popping already? It's making the image like alive. It's turning it into something else. Now let me show you something. I'm gonna drag this to the top and I'm gonna make it so it's not a clipping mask. So right there, and I actually have to probably edit or uh, erase some of the blue around there. Okay, just like that. So now it's not a clipping mask. The benefit to doing it this way is you can actually add a hue and saturation layer you can make that a clipping mask and then you can change the the hue of the jacket which is so cool right so if your image is too blue and you want to add in some green and have this pop a little bit more bam you can do that if you want to make it more intense which i wouldn't suggest doing that but if you want to make it more intense you can it's a really cool technique now i'm using this technique also there's a couple other ways of doing this um i'm using this not only for the color of the jacket but also for the face color skin color is very important um, to do this with and i've done this a lot of times in my images so let me show you here so let me actually back up a little bit let's go right above this and let's create a color balance layer and i'm going to call this face color and face color i feel like it's let's mess around here let's see i want it a little bit more dull like that see it's a little bit too red perhaps let's let's add in some highlights though let's maybe a little bit of a yellow okay so something like that it has a little bit more of a yellow tone and maybe, maybe we'll tone it down in just a second but so i've added the uh, color on top of this whole image what you want to do is click on the mask and hit command i to invert that so now basically this is not affecting anything and then you're going to paint with your white brush at 100% opacity over the mask. So now that's going to reveal what's underneath. So now I'm painting in his skin color, beard color, all separately. If you even want, you can, you can do this with the hair color. But basically, we're doing it just like that. So now if you turn that on and off, it's just affecting the face color. 
And now you can go in and you can make more adjustments. You can, I don't want to go more red. Let's go add in a little bit of blues. Let's go back to the highlights. Something right around there is cool. Okay. See, so I just added a little bit more life to the face. So just a little bit more yellows there. All right, and basically I'm doing that with, with the whole image. It's not just, you know, with, with him, but sometimes I'll do it on buildings. And for example, like right here, this part of the image is a little bit too green. So I do the same exact thing there with this technique, but I'd go with the hue and saturation layer. I take down the green slightly. You can see how it's turning down a little bit, but see this affecting the whole image. So you want to invert that and then paint out that color just right there. See that? So this is how you really refine your images and you make them uh, pop a lot more. Now, one other thing is over the top of the image, once you get those individual colors, you can really have colors stand out by adding a color balance layer and just affecting the highlights. So, so things are blending in a little bit too much here. So I'm going to do something like that. Do you see how that's making a huge difference? It, it goes from the whole image being green <clears throat> to separating out those colors. Just like that. Bam. So there you go. Um, I wish I could show you before and after. I have so many <laughs> different layers here. Let's see if I can let's see if I can do this. Bring this down here. And then we have the face layer, which is right here. Okay, so so before looks like this after looks like this see how we just made this pop bam it looks way more professional and that is the key to creating a really cool color grade that that takes a little bit more time but this is what the pros do this is what i've done with all my big commercial work so hopefully you guys enjoyed that remember to follow along with this video just click below and i'll send you guys the follow along files and make sure to check out the other tutorials Thank you